Hey everybody, welcome to Day Shift at Freddy's 3, the final game in the trilogy, and I've been wanting to play this for so long for y'all, so here I am, ready to go ahead and play it. I know it's been a while since I've posted, I know it's been a while since I've done anything in terms of YouTube, but I have been focusing primarily on my Twitch for a bit. Um, but I did end up getting COVID recently, which did really restrict how much I could actually interact with anything. So, thank y'all so much for being patient, and I am now officially back, so let's go ahead and hop on into this, shall we? Alright, what am I going to expect? Would you like to skip the Dave introduction, available for repeat playthroughs? Uh, nah, I'm alright, I don't want to skip it. Let's, let's see, let's get some Dave. Ooh! Why is there a tape recorder in front of me? Why, hello there! Future entrepreneur! Is he hand drawn? Congratulations on purchasing the starter owned Freddy Bam Spend this pizza relocation kit! 1993 edition! Hey! I am your friendly company representative! You sure? I am not a child murderer. <laughs> I knew you Freddy's weren't. Is a chain of fast food joints that span the entire of America. At its pride, Freddy's had over 50 active locations, most of which would permanently show Fred down Shack. to a Fred Hack. number of toddlers going missing on our premises. How that sounds like you that? did that, buddy. I'm it's sure pretty crazy. I had nothing to do with any of that. You. Are a young visionary who bought the Freddy's merchandise. Oh, I'm missing my front teeth. The first step of setting up a successful Freddy's pizza joint is to choose is this FNAF 6? And not just any cardboard box will do. Small enough that mysterious giant scugglers can't lay eggs in your restaurant undetected. Trust me on that one. Secondly, you need at least two rooms. A room for dancing in, and a room for bleeding out in. Don't splurge on buying a location. Also, save yourself a headache and avoid carpet. Blood won't stain. Blood won't stain your easy to clean hardwood. The nearest dumpster will do nicely. Oh. That distinctive Freddy's taste, don't you? Next, you'll need performers. Robots are expensive. So just buy a fan Devour. for 20 bucks and call it a fucking day. Or, better yet, fish something out of the trash. That's always the option. Murder any kids that are buffer than you are. <sighs> I got these tiny little noodle arms. On a goddamn pizza. Taxation is theft. Don't pay taxes. Don't, don't pay your taxes. And don't your facts during business hours. You got it. I'll do it after hours. Goodbye, future restaurant owner. And remember, you are the new face of the I'm literally immortal because of a fact that I made with the literal bear deity and all I got was this lousy shirt. Jesus. <laughs> at least we got at least we got that. Uh Why, hello there, future business owner. Hey! Kind of vibing with this beat. Welcome to your new Freddy's location. It's good to be here, bro. Like all Freddy's locations, it's probably a complete dump. They always are. What? Rest assured, with enough business savvy antics, you'll be able to afford running water in no time. Wait, I don't have running water? Where are people pooping? Actually, I probably shouldn't ask that. Camera panel should now be sent to your restaurant's current layout. It's one room. The pressing is in the Yeah. Most beginning Freddy's locations have at least two rooms, a dining area, and a safe room. This is your dining area. If you were lucky, you've had enough money left over after buying the place to afford tables. What? The kind of lucky fellow would choose to start up at Freddy's location. A. Don't worry. With time, you can upgrade everything from the floors to the walls to the moss on the walls. Hey, I can have more moss on the walls. Green, big, think of better moss. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god, this is a funky beat. 
What is that? It's an off camera room where employees can smoke, complain about you without getting fired, and put on horrendous mascot costumes. Spring box suits are hard to come by these days. So, you're probably gonna be serving birthday cake in a bear onesie for a while. I think I'm seen weirder. Joke's on you, Dave! I just stuck Golden Hetty onto an existing Springlock body. Fred not go. I'm trouble from here. Soon enough, you can buy that crabs and then hire young adults who roll their nature to die them. Jesus. Am I recording? Okay, I am. I was like, geez, I hope I am. Now, let's talk tape. Find all of it right now. You'll Good. Put it in it and find it all later at your leisure. Now, first things first. No paperwork! You have a ton of big red letters at your disposal. What name are you gonna slap onto a restaurant? Freddy Fazbender's Pizza. Freddy's House of Pleasure. Freddo's Vile Pepperoni. Pepperonery. Uncle Jack's Family Diner Bear. You know what we're gonna go with, uh... Freddy's House of Pleasure. <laughs> um, nah, I'm just gonna go Freddy Fazbender's Pizza. Good choice. I'm guessing. Now, we also included several cut-out Freddy's heads to go above the name of your pizza joint. Corporate didn't want me to throw in this Fred Bear cut-out since we accidentally took it mid chunk Why he had a kid in his mouth, but since I'm the only one here now, I put Fred Bear's head in the damn pot. So, choose wisely. Choose whose head is gonna be above your- okay. Fredbear mid-chomp. <laughs> Should I do the mid-chomp option? Oh my god. We're gonna go Fredbear mid-chomp. You just made a partially irrelevant choice. Oh. With all of that out of the way, it's time to go so, outside. Motor will attack your bare head and call this place open. Goodbye, and remember, you are the face of Freddy Fazbender's pepperoni. That isn't the one I picked, but I'm not the face of it. Fred Bear's chomping head is officially the face of the restaurant. Jesus Christ, why is that what I picked? Go outside and open up. I can actually move? What? What? Orange Maniac revives bear worshipping pizza cult. This is simply the worst possible timeline concern local parent. I have zero dollars to my name. Oh! What oddly photoshopped chill- Why is this kid built like that? I'm sorry, that feels like an insult. I did not mean it like that. You know what I meant. Like, why your neck so long? <laughs> okay. Amazing, actual customers have shown up. Good God. If you play your cards right, you'll be able to buy a table next month. Go get suited up and bring cake out to the kids. Is this gonna be another quick time event? Oh god dang it. I hope it isn't. Here we go! Cake. Lucky for you, you stole a wedding cake three months ago. Cakes are too magical to go stale, right? Oh man, that's good. If any kids get food poisoning, just respond to their parents with that. Cake is too magical to get spoiled, don't worry. Your kid is gonna be just fine after they get their stomach pumped. Uh, anyways, it's cake time. Also, that's an oddly look. That's an odd looking uh, spring bonnie head. Oh, it's this mini game. Oh, with how janky the controls are, feeding these children is gonna suck. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Yeah, I knew I was gonna make it. I'm gonna have an angry parent. 6 p.m. So I closed at 6 p.m. At least I was able to get a few kids fed with some cake that probably gave them food poisoning. That's not my fault. Also, I'm almost out of water. Mm. Mm. 
There we go. I always crush up my bottles so they fit easier into my trash can, but that's irrelevant. Hello. Oh. This is the Los Angeles Police Department. What'd I do this time? Am I speaking to the owner of Freddy Fazbender's Pizza? Maybe. Uh, yeah, it's me. Yep, just open today, officer. Nope, sounds like you got the wrong guy. First of all, may we ask for your name, sir? It's D's and Nuts. Actually, it's Lig B. Okay, thanks for that. Glad we have that straightened out. You're welcome. We need to ask you another question. And what would that be, officer? Have you heard anything about what happened outside your restaurant today? Uh, a hobo was found behind a dumpster using the bathroom, right? I think that's what it was. No, what happened? Basically, a child named Jacob Adams got abducted outside the new Freddy's location at around 5 p.m. Okay, look, I was in the back, like, I was doing some paperwork around that time because apparently somebody slipped and fell, and there wasn't much I could do. I had to file an incident report. If you know how those are, officer, you have to understand. I don't know what's going on. No witnesses were close enough to fully make out what happened. Oh, jeez. And the reports that we've gotten so far are totally outlandish and paranormal. Hmm. We know that you were inside when it happened, and we're just calling all nearby businesses out of courtesy. Well, thank you. At least you understand I was in the back doing my paperwork, because you know it's very important. Please, be vigilant. I will. I'll look at my cameras. I'll make sure. I'll be watching. Something is outside your restaurant. And it has already taken one child away. Make sure to lock up tight and to keep a close eye out. Yes, sir. Sure, I, I sure will. Thanks, officer. Good night. Stay safe. You too. Good night, buddy. Well, that was weird. What did I do? <laughs> that wasn't me. It was something else. I don't want to know what it is, actually, if I'm being completely and totally honest. Oh! Wait. Oh, it is mid chop. I was like, man, something don't seem right here. Am I? Did I just travel to another location? Would you like to save your game? Uh, yes, I would. Let's go ahead and save on file one. There we go. Playtime: twenty-four minutes and two seconds. Are you sure that that is correct? Uh, I hope that my recording is not fucked up uh screwed up or whatever i'm so sorry i just cursed i'm sorry about that um well this is about as good as an intro as i could do but you know what we're gonna continue where we were we will save again overwrite this save file just to make sure go ahead and exit back out of that and we'll continue on our way Ooh. why hello there future restaurant owner I'm gonna level with you. I don't know what you're gonna hear these pecs in, but all I know, Afton Robotics has closed its doors, and no new robots are being made. What? All of that aside, why would you want to spend money on brand new robots when you're just gonna get children's blood and buffalo wing sauce all over them a month after purchase? That is a very good question. Yeah, I wouldn't want to have to do the maintenance on new ones. That's good, but not actually, it's a horrible business practice. But if you're broke, that is something you can do. At the cost of it happens, sadly. And that's scarily specific, but that is also scarily true. So, it is what you need to do. Grab a phone book and look for the nearest abandoned Freddy's location. <gasps> you mean to tell me I get to go salvage an animatronic? Most of them are abandoned, as of me recording this, so unless they are bulldozed or burnt down, you've got easy pickings. This is like uh, American Pickers. I'm going in, I'm looking for barn finds. I find an animatronic, I grab it, I toss it in the back of a truck, hope I didn't break anything, and just haul my butt back to the restaurant. Go to whatever location you can get to, find your way inside, and then take the most complete robot you can. Shine, those old things might be dangerous. What wanted? What? You'll save a fortune. And that's all that we care about here at Freddy's. Love those fucking things. Nothing beats nostalgia. That is true. Nothing Worry does beat. Not. 
future restaurant owner. Mm -hmm. If anything goes wrong, you can always just relocate and change your name, right? I'm sure I've done that like thri twice. Thrice if you technically count this game. After all, what kind of man buys a Freddy's location and uses their real name? Yeah, I didn't use mine. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this tip. Goodbye, and remember, you are the funky face of Freddy Fazbender's pepperoni. I am funky. Real funky. Boy, it sure is dark here. I gotta... Well, time to get searching. I'm sure I'll find more here than I did last time. What would you like to do? Search the north, search the south, leave the pizza without anything to salvage. Let's search the north. I'm gonna need some light in my face. That didn't help. What would you like to do? Enter the room behind the stage. There's gotta be something behind the stage. What well, is a Freddy? What would you like to do? Inspect weather inspect withered Freddy. Boy. Freddy has seen better days. Salvage him. Would you like to commit to salvaging withered Freddy? Salvaging an old robot increases your liability rate. No. Uh return to the stage. We're gonna explore our options here. We're here anyway. He's got to solve to something. Let's search to the south. What is this? This music is... I'm kind of vibing with it. It's a little creepy, but I like it. Okay, I explored the, the top option, so that means I have to go to the south. So we'll go, we'll go further back. Oh. The south-facing corridor has been blocked up by a pile of rubble from a collapsed wall. Has someone been here since I last was? What would you like to do? Uh, then let's search to the west. If I have to grab Freddy, I will. That's gonna be who I grab. If I can find nothing else here. Oh! Is that mangle on the ceiling? What would you like to do? Inspect Toy Freddy. Toy Freddy is in poor condition. Is missing an eye and a leg. Leave him be. He's been beat up. Someone definitely kicked his shins in in the last one. <laughs> Someone. I think I did that. Sadly. Uh, and I think I need to go to the east, right? I'm gonna go to the east, and we'll see what's there. If none of these, I will get Withered Freddy. I don't want Toy Freddy. I'm sorry, big boy, but oh, how are you somehow worse? Let me search to the north, if I go deeper in. Oh! Wow! And to think you once wore this thing for a living. Strangely enough, someone seems to have repaired it since you've last seen it. Would you like to admit to salvaging Spring Freddy? Salvaging an old robot increases your viability rate. Man, should I take Spring Freddy? I'm thinking I should. Let's get, let's get Freddy. Let's get Withered Freddy. I was wanting to get Spring Freddy, but I was like, man. We'll get Withered Freddy, just cause. He was our first option. And he doesn't look that beat up. I mean, he's withered. It's it's kind of just normal for him anyways. Look at him. I mean, I'm sure he has a few loose bolts here and there. I could probably tighten up. Boy, Freddy has seen better days. Let's salvage him. Would you like to commit to salvaging withered Freddy? Salvaging an old robo robot increases your liability rate. Yes. You have decided to take withered Freddy back with you. You're free to leave through the dining area. You can explore this location some more. Uh, return to the stage. I think we're gonna leave with him. I don't think I want to grab too many other things with me on the way out. So 
Search to the south, meaning we're gonna go on back. All right, and now, and let's leave the pizzeria and take Withered Freddy with me. Oh, I've got what I came for. It's time to go. What's done is done. You say goodbye to the Freddy's Baker's Field location for the last time and drag Withered Freddy through the window. Tomorrow's another day. Ooh, I haven't seen tomorrow's another day in a hot minute. So that, that's a, it's a little, you know, throwback to the old school FNAF stuff. Oh. Why am I traveling like this? I just thought about that. Ooh. Oh, I'm home. Why do I live so far from... You have one thing left to do tonight. Go to your workshop. Oh, no. I know for sure this is probably copyrighted. This was Peter and Caroline's room. You've kept this door locked since they passed away. Oh. It may be late, but you know that there's something that you need to take care of first. You can sleep later. Understood. Oh. I'm working on an old arcade cabinet, it looks like. Am I about to play a mini game? She's up and running. It's time. This is your last chance to find their souls. Your last chance at redemption. Your last chance to get those lost souls their happiest day. You have to go inside. Yo, what am I getting into? This one's really different from uh, Day Shift at Freddy's 1 and Day Shift at Freddy's 2. This one's giving off like a real different vibe now. Whoa. Oh, and there's the map on the bottom showing where I'm at. I'm in the game now, though. Here we are. Wherever this is. I guess you just have to take a look around. The flip side is a hostile place. Save often. Use X to bring up the menu screen. Oh, is this one like an RPG style game? What? Okay. Uh, I think for now I'm gonna have to go ahead and I'm gonna call it for the day, or at least for this, at least for this video. Uh, but thank y'all so much for watching, and uh, I'm definitely gonna get into more of this because Day Shift of Freddy's is one of my favorite series, and it's one of my favorite series I've done on this channel. So, Day Shift of Freddy's three, we're kicking it off strong. I don't know. I guess it's an RPG. Uh. As in the fact that you can actually level up, so I'm assuming there's going to be a combat system. Uh, so we'll see about that. And uh, I got a I got a game series uh, that I also have scheduled to play. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all again pretty soon. And when I say pretty soon, I mean sometime in the next day or so. So see you all again. Uh, peace out.